All right, so here we are in the beginning entryway of the house. You have more of a open office concept versus the other home that was more closed often. It's just kind of preference. And again, this is all tile. So you'll walk in a little bit of a different format. The, the living room's in the same setup, just different orientation. Take you through to the kitchen, which is absolutely gorgeous. Kind of see here, you have your double oven. Normally that's your built-in uh, convection microwave, you'll see. And then your separate oven down here. Walk you into the pantry over here. It's a recessed pantry. So very good size. And again, with these kitchens, there's so much cabinetry space that I don't see you'll find an, uh, an issue with storage. So a lot of light in these uh, David Weekly homes, as you'll see. It's kind of their, their signature is having the spaces open and airy. And in this property, you have an enclosed screen Lanai, which we'll go and take a look at that last. Just wanted to start off with that. So down here, you're gonna have your master. Or actually, I don't know if this is your master. Let me just double check. This might just be your, no, this is not your master. This is just a additional bedroom. Sorry about that. Getting my floor plans confused. Here's your guest bathroom downstairs. Now again, this bedroom is right off of the living room, as you'll see right here. And additional closet space. Which would be the linen or closet space, which, you know, whichever you prefer. Kind of your little, get all your mudroom area, get your shoes and things of that nature off. So this garage has been sealed. Again, it has kind of the same setup with the tandem look. So really deep garage space to get a minimum of like three cars in here, but a ton of storage. Okay, and next we'll head on upstairs. I'm just gonna see if there's not a closet space here before I go. Yes. More closet space. This should go under the stairs and it does. That's what I love about the new newer homes is they try to utilize every inch of the house for space and storage and just no wasted space. It's nice always to see builders using that. So you're gonna go up. I'm not gonna pause you on this one. Another flex space upstairs, so a huge living room or you know entertainment area, really whatever you want to do with it. This should be over here. You see him there. And down here you're going to have, I believe, one of the bedrooms.
This should be your master. Let's see if we have the, the view. So you kind of have like a partial view over here. It's not really directly behind you. That's the conservation area. And what you're asking for is if there anything was going to be built. Now that I've seen it, I would have to say that would be really hard if they would. This is considered wetlands. And if they knock down any of this to build, they're going to have to basically muck it, build it up, and then pay a huge developer's fee. So it would have to be like already zoned for that issue and it doesn't look like it with the retention ponds that are set up there that that would be the case now this bathroom is huge <laughs> see the only way i can explain it you have a little sitting area a nice storage area more space for your your linens and makeups and things like that Hello again. You have a oversized shower. Again, your enclosed toilet area. And this is your walk-in closet. Now it's kind of your his and her sides, but take a look at how big this is. I think even my husband and I could share this. Because <laughs> this is this is a whole nother room. If you're seeing the enormity of this this room, this is huge. And that is off of the bathroom. So I mean, you have to go through the bathroom to get to the closet. So it's gonna be pretty standard carpet upstairs. And again, this is when you come up the stairs, you make a direct left. So right in front of you, we're coming back to that, that flex space area, that living room area upstairs. And then these will be all of your additional bedrooms. So here's gonna be your laundry room. Now keep in mind on this property, uh, the drapes and the water softener system that is with the house presently is not going to convey. They've already put that in their instructions. So I just wanted to make sure I made note of that. You can see from this video that the, the furniture is very, very large. Like that is, that's a queen and you have plenty of room for side dresser, bureau, end table, a desk, a knick-knack container. And here is the closet space. Let's see if I can get a, get a little organizer in there. Next, we're going to go downstairs and take a look outside of the backyard. One brief moment. Wanted to show you outside your, on the second story, that is another retention pond that's right outside as well, just because that's a good shot. So here we are in the backyard. So again, you've got that enclosed, that's the cranes in the back you're going to hear. Their patio has already been screened in. And it is fenced. You would have enough room to put a pool in if you so desire to put a pool in. The side view of the water, it's on the side of the house. It's not directly behind you again. <laughs> There's the cranes. I think that's the, the, probably the noisiest neighbors you have is the, the sandhill cranes. <laughs> now that I said something, they're gonna come <laughs> closer. Um, here's the conservation area. Again, I don't see, I'm going to drive out there down the road real quick when I come out and see if I see any signs or anything of that nature. Normally if they had to, um, if they were going to be building, that's usually planned out years down the road and they have to publicly notice it.
Here is the side yard. It's a little bit more space in between. At least it feels that way coming out here. See there? There's the neighbors. They're staring at me. <laughs> I'll take you to the side yard here just so you can see. And this is the, the front of the neighborhood on this part of subdivision. So directly across this house is in the distance you're seeing. That is the first house and it is at the almost the beginning of the side of the development on that side, that subdivision. So you're gonna have construction traffic for probably some time in here since they are still building. And it's really a preference of whether you mind being at the, the front of the community where the gate is too. Just one more thing I wanted to show you was this nice little patio area in the front. So you can kind of see it from the, coming out the front door. Well, I hope you found this helpful. I'll be sending this to you shortly and we'll touch base. Thanks.